and Kate Ritchie is today's guest. Thanks for coming in to see us. Oh, thank you for having me. Uh, when do you wrap up at Summer Bay? Uh, middle of December. We've got about oh, three weeks, three weeks to go. So, and we have four weeks off. Uh, it's, it's a long schedule, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't. It's. I think some people think that it's a seasonal job and we kind of have 13 it's, weeks on and th- it doesn't it just it's like a sausage factory it's day in day out do you have to um do you have to put on heaps of sunscreen when you're outside filming good question what? um yes of course we do good that's the right answer <laughs> slip slop slap well i just think you know because <laughs> you go out there sometimes you know like you, you're not really paying attention like if you go to the beach you go and put some yeah. sunscreen on right that's the problem yeah. and if you go for a swim you go and put sunscreen on but like if you're just sort of doing your job yeah you know, you don't put on sunscreen a lot of the time unless you know you're working yeah. outdoors, which you are. Yeah, and I think I think so that we kind of get, and it's kind of embarrassing. I don't like it. We have people that hold umbrellas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. you like have movie an stars. Yeah, you and you know what the worst actors. thing was? Oh, Madonna's got one of them. Yeah, well, I get embarrassed, and I He's think, keep, keep the umbrella. One. I'll hold my own umbrella. But um, I used to go out with this boy, and he didn't know. This is like in high school. And, he didn't know, of course, that I had the umbrellas held over me. And one day I kind of had a joke with him about it and said, can you hold my umbrella? And he went, well, I said, well, they do it at work for me. He said, ah, that explains a lot uh, about you, Gabe. <laughs> 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 it's all making sense uh, now. Yeah, you can't open a door for yourself. Yeah, exactly. I know before. When you're standing at the studio door just looking at me, I went, oh, that's right, sorry. Sorry. I don't get that door. <laughs> <laughs> over, over the last couple of days, we've been shooting a, a television commercial, and we've had catering, yeah. and it's been awesome. I had yeah. a catering van, and it yesterday good it was oh, very good. Great. Yesterday we'd finished shooting, and we were we were supposed to go, but we hung around an extra half an hour to, to eat. eat lunch. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Had, was, was yep, it like we pretended that we had more work yeah. to do, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just so we could eat the free catering. <laughs> you have catering every day. No, we have we do have catering on location. So, and well, there is, are there are there is one person in particular that hangs around like you and. Who? No, Who no, fills up their lunchbox? Come on, name, 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 name and shame. <laughs> Come on, I actually can't remember. Girl oh. or guy? So when you're in studio, you have to go to cafeteria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a cafeteria. Now I saw you at the races a few weeks ago, and we both had a few champagnes. So no, I don't no know idea. whether you were talking out of school, but you told me. What are you going to say? That you were involved in oh. a cliffhanger this year in Home and Away. Were you, oh. were you meant to oh. join that? I thought you were going to say <laughs> something else for a minute. I'm not going to tell them the other <laughs> stuff you told me. That's oh. between, that's oh, girl Kate stuff Ritchie between you and me. Kate Ritchie drinking and storylining again. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Let's, we'll find out all about the cliffhanger <laughs> in a second. Kate Ritchie, our very special guest. What is the cliffhanger, Kate? Well, I can't tell you that. Can you give us a hint? Uh, well, there's, I mean, there's always loads of things at the end of the year that kind of come to a, an end or a head. Or, um, but there is the kind of final night, somebody celebrating Christmas and all that kind of thing. <gasps> Everyone thinks everything's fine. And then there's a brutal attack. <gasps> is your life someone. in danger? Someone's is. Is there a question mark over whether you will be returning when the show comes back next year? Sally. Yes. Um... Well, that's if she's the person that's brutally attacked. Oh, you're good at this. Oh. Yeah, you're trying to oh. trick me. <laughs> yeah. So is it like a head injury or is it a gut wound? What is it? it um, is there any gore that you can tell me? It is. For Home and Away, it actually Pretty is. Pretty gory, It's not is very it? Christmassy, I must say. But, um, but yeah. Uh, I, I, do, I do admire the fact that Home and Away is a bit progressive for, for its time slot. And for the type of show it is, it has actually become more progressive in recent mm. years. When will we see the drug ice in Home and Away? Actually, I think, we, I think we have. <laughs> oh. No, you, you, um, I'm sure we have maybe a couple of years ago there was a character. You know the – oh, now you're testing my memory. There was the, um, the kind of psycho Sarah that – that bailed yes, 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 yes. Like yes, the yes. Um, hostage, held everyone hostage. Yes, yes. I think it was the implied. Stalker. Wasn't she like a stalker? She was the stalker's kind of offside. Yeah, yeah, that's right. She was, I think it was insinuated that that's how she'd ended up uh, so messed up. See, right. we're ahead. We're ahead. Right, okay. The times. Come but, on, come up with something else. Crack. Kate Ritchie with us. Kate Ritchie is our guest today. Rebecca, who is 12, called in. Hello, Rebecca. Hi. How you Hi. going? Good, thanks. How are you? Good. Do you think you know what's going to happen for this cliffhanger? Yes, I, I do. Away? What do you I reckon? Must say, I reckon Sally, because she's a teacher and she always works late and everything, I reckon she'll go out to the car park and I reckon she'll get stabbed by Johnny. Ooh. That's Simple, horrific. But- yeah, That's I know, bad, but isn't it? Is, she, <laughs> is she close? Well, I guess she's close because there is a brutal attack involved in her idea. 
Yeah. Makes sense. There's a brutal attack, so... What am I, I meant to say? Because I can't give... I'm not going to give it away. Well, yeah, if you can't give it away, that would ruin right, it. Right, but that's okay. a very good Rebecca, idea. Maybe you should okay. send that idea in to oh, the yes. script writers. Okay, thank you for that, Rebecca. Holly, this... who's 10, has called in. Hello, Holly. Hi. Hi, Holly. What's going on, Holly? What do you got for us? On Tuesday, I went to a school disco. Yep. And awesome. the DJ there, in February, he's going into a prison cell with Rick on Home and Away. Oh, oh he's an actor as well, is he? Oh. And he's already shot. So I was going to say, a, uh, someone's a, talking a, out of school. This Some, is a spoiler. Hang on. Oh. Don't I say anything, Kate. I can say anything. Don't hang say on. anything. Holly, how was the school disco? Oh, it was really good. <laughs> right. Well, Holly, I'm glad that the, the DJ who did the school disco for you as a 10-year-old is only playing the part of a prisoner and not actually going to jail. <laughs> exactly. what, Holly, what? That would be a very bad hiring choice. It must be love. Kate Ritchie is our guest today. Now, Kate, you haven't decided what you're going to do for Christmas yet, have no, you? No, I don't know. Well, like I said, I've got the four weeks off, so I'm not sure. Because I'll be on my own, so... We should go to La Health Farm. Nigel. That's a nice yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was thinking, oh, going into Nova this morning, maybe I could run a competition about <laughs> 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 who wants to go to Vietnam with me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's your favourite Christmas food on Christmas Day? What do you like to eat the most? Oh, we have ham and eggs in the morning. Like, we have got a big glazed ham. Yeah. And in the morning for breakfast, we have eggs and oh. eggs and ham and chutney and toast and, oh. Yum. And we just eat it for weeks. That ham bone. God, yeah. it's great when that comes out. It's Christmas time. Yeah. That ham and just, they never end. It's like the magic pudding. You just keep going back yeah, to the fridge. Yeah, you keep going back to the oh, fridge. Slice. Take it out of the pillowcase I'm, and I'm so hopeless. <laughs> I'll stand at the fridge for 15 minutes with a knife in my hand, just slicing yeah. it off until somebody says, Miz, why don't you just take it out of the fridge and slice up? <laughs> no, 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 I'm, just, I'm only having 14 slices. <laughs> it's it's a, a, this doesn't really work for you, Sammy, but no. I do get it. It does get a little bit funky near the bone where the blood comes out. I, oh, yeah. that's why I'm a vegetarian. Yeah, that's, yeah. But then you chuck it in a big pot and you make a big soup. Yeah, I just Ooh. persevere and just keep eating through right yeah. through yeah. to the bone. Right and then I'll walk around the house with the bone in my mouth like a dog. <laughs> Kate Ritchie is our guest today. Now, this Kate, this year you did the uh, It Takes oh, Two. Mm. You, you enjoyed that? Are, yeah. we go, are you going to release a record? Oh, I can't say too much. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, what happened? Did you see the show? I'm not sure. I mean, <laughs> you were really, you were really. I had a great time. Yeah. It you was were, actually though. You were really a great time. The, most, uh, <laughs> thanks. Um, uh, the most hideous experience I've ever had, but at the same time, kind of the best thing I think. Why I could have hideous? Ever done. Because I've never been so nervous and unsettled and kind of... I mean, I would be in the dressing room before the show in tears going, I can't, I cannot go out. I can't you're so out. nervous. Yeah. And bless Troy. Troy, so lucky that I had such a great partner. And I think he's the best thing that came out of it. Like, he's such a, you know, just to have met him and his family and stuff. I'd... What happened with Erica? Because now someone told me recently she actually released a single. Well, I did thought she, she did too, but but no, no one heard it. Yeah, no, no, she, she's working on something, wasn't she? No, I think oh, it's no. been released. I think it's been released. Mm. Okay. Uh, final thing we should say is you're a, you're an ambassador for the Kmart Wishing Tree. Yes, I am. So if always anybody, good, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and I think it's. Just, I mean, just to help out people who you know don't have as much as the rest of us at, at Christmas. But so I, I've got one problem with the Kmart Wishing Tree. Every single year I go there, I stand at the tree, and I wish and I wish, yeah. and I never get what I want. <laughs> I don't. Get... I don't get the point of no, the tree. No, but the anymore. whole point is you have to buy a gift and put it under the tree Wrap for it others. Up. Awesome. Oh, is that what can... they're all doing there? Yeah. <laughs> you don't yeah. line up and get one. Do you oh, have to... just going? Oh, you know, having a little wish under the tree and then walking <laughs> away. Never get that wish though. Does Do it? you have to wrap it up, or can you just sort of take like? I'm sure. And take and just drop it past oh, the look, way I'm out sure of the shops. Oh, look, I'm sure it would be nice if you wrapped it. Why don't you just go to the effort to wrap no, something? No, I'm just saying Sammy? if you were in the shops and you bought something and you didn't have time to wrap it and you just dropped it under the tree on I the mean, way I out. Are I, you think, I think you could do that because it, like, it kind of goes to charities with Salvation Army and Smith yeah, family. It's a good thing to do. But, you know, uh, it's always good sometimes is around if you are doing that stuff. Always, the, like Anglicare or something like that, we did it one year and you just give them a call and see what they're... Uh, what they need because sometimes they get lots of boy gifts for boys oh. but they, they don't get anything for teenage girls or something like that yeah. so you never just goes oh look let's just get a truck and if they've got nothing for 14 year old girls so uh, it's always worth giving them a call and see what they actually need yep. Kate Ritchie thank you for coming That's to see us being our special guest Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas.